In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to go from day to night. In our previous video, I showed you how to create this smoky eye, which I'll go through briefly in this video, but then I want to show you how to add a few extra steps that are so easy to do that will just add that extra drama. I absolutely love creating looks like this. These looks that you can adapt and change and create a completely different type of look. So if you enjoy tutorials like this and you're new to the Make a Chair channel, then I might suggest hitting the subscribe button below. It's totally free. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Now let's get started in creating this look. First, let's do the smoky eye. So to create the smoky eye, I'm going to use a few shadows. I have a shadow that's at least one shade lighter. I have a shadow that's at least one shade darker. And then I also have a black. Now the important step for this is also to use a base. This is just going to add a little bit more warmth and also add some more grip. So we have a light, medium, and dark and customize this however you want for your own skin tone. The brushes that I'm using are by Blanca Vis Cosmetics. I'm using the One Stop Eyes and Brows and I will link my discount code below. It's Sinead at checkout. I am a brand ambassador, so I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. So as always, we're going to start by creating a blank canvas all over the lid. This is going to be done by using an eyeshadow primer. So I'm just going to apply this all over my lid because even though we are going to be using a base in our next step, it's a really good idea just to make sure we have an even texture and even tone all over the lid. So that's what this tinted primer is going to do. It's going to create a blank canvas for us to work on. Now the important step for this is also to use a base. This is just going to add a little bit more warmth and also add some more grip. Basically, you just want something that has a little bit of warmth or just isn't black because we are going to be using a black eyeshadow. So anything that has maybe like a cool or warm or neutral undertone, this is just going to add more grip, but also add a softer look to the smoky eye. Now the first shadow I'm going to take is the lightest shadow and this is just going to be setting the area from the brow and then just slightly onto the crease but we're not touching the lid at all. This is just going to make sure that any of our shadows aren't going to attach to this area and create like a smooth area for us to blend over. Then I'm going to take the shadow that's at least one shade darker than your skin tone. So you can use like your contour or your bronzer even for this step and I'm just going to take this on my brush and pat this into the crease and kind of onto the lid as well. You don't have to be too precise about it because once we kind of pat it on there, you can then grab your blending brush, keep your hand nice and low when you're doing this as well, and just softly sweep over and back. Then we're gonna move on to the black shadow and I'm gonna take a smaller brush and we're gonna pat this over that base. So this base is still kind of damp, because the two shadows were applied quite quickly. So this base should really hold on to this black. But because we have that warm kind of creamy base underneath, it's just gonna add a slightly different texture. It's gonna add a slightly different tone. And overall, I just feel like it complements people's skin tones just a little bit more instead of just going straight in with a black. An important step is then to take your medium shade again with the same brush that you applied the black, but this time just go slightly above the shadow. So slightly above where the black and then that medium shade meet. And then what you can do is take the black again and reapply it at the lash line. This is just gonna make sure you get a really great blend and lots of depth. And of course, always finish off with a very soft blend with a blending brush, making sure to hold it really far down the handle so it's a very soft and subtle blend. So you should end up with something that looks like this. And then I'm going to go in with mascara and some falsies. And so many people are asking me about this eyelash curler. I'm still trying to find it. It got discontinued. It was available in Primark or Pennies. I haven't seen it in there since. So I'm going to look online, but if anybody has an alternative, please let me know so I can link it for everybody. So that is pretty much our smoky eye done. What we're then gonna do is to add a few extra steps and these are really quick and easy to do. So first of all, you're going to grab your favorite pencil or gel liner and you're gonna coat the upper and lower waterline. Now, if you're struggling to do the upper part, just make sure you look in the opposite direction. I know it looks a little funny on camera, but if you look in the opposite direction, it doesn't irritate and tickle your eye as much. 
You just want to make sure you're far away from your pupil so that your eye doesn't go, oh, there's something in my eye. So pull your mirror to the opposite direction and then apply the liner where you need to. Now the next step is to take that medium shade and I'm going to use the brush that we applied the black and the medium shade with already. So it does have like some little tones in there, which is fine because it's great for smudging. And I'm going to bring my hand slightly higher and just kind of go horizontally underneath the eye. I don't want to bring this down too far, but I also want to create a nice smudge. So I'm just doing little smudging motions underneath. You can add a little bit of black if you need to. Just make sure that black is always really close to the lash line. And then you have that medium shade lower. The medium shade should always be lower when it's underneath and highest when it's above. And then going to take this beautiful shimmer. This stuff is so amazing and so beautiful. It's just this gorgeous, chocolatey, rich, sparkly, glowy deliciousness. I absolutely love it. And I'm just using my concealer brush and just going to pat this on the lid. Just basically applying this where we already applied that base. As you can see, they're actually quite similar, but obviously this has a lot more shimmer. The base wouldn't really create the same look if you applied this over the shadows. It just wouldn't hold in the same way. That's why we need to use a different product. And I'm also going to take whatever's left over on the brush and just run this underneath the eye as well on top of everything that we've already smudged. Now you can use your fingertips to apply this, but I find using the brush just gives me a little bit more control, but it's totally up to you. And then there you go. That is how to go from day to night with a smoky eye. This adds some extra drama, some extra glitter. You're going to catch the light. It's great for date night. I will wear the smoky eye during the day. And then when we go out for dinner in the evening, I'll put a little bit of this on. And then I feel like, I feel like I'm brand new and it's like a whole other date. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will be probably wearing this actually in an upcoming event which is going to be happening in Dublin. I can't wait. It's the beauty show and I'm probably going to wear this look, I think. Let me know what you think. Should I wear a smoky eye or should I wear like a dramatic smoky eye? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will see you guys in a video really soon. And as always, my message to you all is to be kind to yourself and be kind to others. I love the little community of support that we're giving each other, the absolute kindness that I see in the comments from you guys to me, from you guys to each other. I love this lovely, warm hearted, friendly place that we're creating. And I just want to thank you all for that. So be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll see you in the next one. I share with you all my tips and tricks to working the brows, working the base, contouring and sculpting the face. Basically, I want you to feel so comfortable, but also really confident wearing a smoky eye.